My name is Ruby. I am a Christian with more faith than I can handle. Let me tell you what I've learned about faith. Last winter, I wanted a day off of work, so I decided to pray for a snow day. Well, I told my friend Barbara that I had a direct line to God, and that I was going to pray for snow, and that I could pray for whatever she wanted, because I am concerned about Barbara. Well, Barbara said, ask God to make it snow in July. I did not appreciate that. She was making it sound like my prayers wouldn't work. Well, that was my dog uh, burping right there in case you just heard that. Uh, she's kind of rude. Anyway, um, sure, if I asked God for snow in July, it would not happen. But that's because God wants it to snow in the winter. That's when he likes it to snow. So I am going to respect God and only pray for snow in the winter. And I wouldn't be joking about God if I were Barbara. God does not take that lightly. I read this book called, the, uh, it's called Left Behind. It's about the rapture. And I feel so sorry for those people who are going to be left behind here on earth. Oh, it's really horrible what's going to happen to y'all. I know I'm going to do everything I can to get into heaven. Uh, uh, I'm not going to take a chance with missing eternal life. Now, I know that some of you will not be picked for heaven. It's like we're all in a contest uh, because he's not going to take everybody. And I'm in a contest with the plain people. You know, I used to be threatened by the Amish, but then I, I heard that Kent Hovind said that we can take any scientific principle and we can mold it to the, the Bible, or we can mold it to Christian principles, and then it will be true. So I decided to take uh, global warming and mold it. And it, so it's called Balancing Out Your Carbon Footprint. See, I buy this nice jewelry, I buy these nice clothes, these fashionable clothes so I can be pretty for God. And I buy nice shoes. And then I give away my old clothes. Balancing out the carbon footprint. Well, we call it the ruby footprint because it's not really carbon and it's not really pollution. It's too pretty for pollution. So it's the ruby footprint. Well, anyway, I wanted to uh, show you this too, talking about science. Now, Barbara gave me this thing. Can you see it? It's called a Petoskey Stone. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's, I guess it's a rock. I mean, it, to me, it doesn't even look like a rock, but she says it's, it's 340 million years old. Huh, they'll tell them anything, I swear. She said it's coral, fossilized. See the little design there? Isn't that something? I think it's ugly as sin, personally. But, uh, yeah, it's coral. Coral. This is coral. See? This is coral. Scientists, know your colors. Know your colors. I know my colors. Get a coloring book. Get some crayons. This is coral. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I've been saving it, though. Barbara gave it to me. Well, my boyfriend will be home soon. So, uh, I think we should end this with my favorite song. I'm going to heaven with my jewelry. I'm going to heaven with my jewelry. I'm going to wear it in my coffin. Heaven with my jewelry on. I'm going to heaven with my jewelry on. I'm going to heaven with my jewelry.